In this series of videos, we will be reviewing features of the KR800 autorefractors, which include the KR800, the KR800PA, and the KR800S. Each of these models are operated in a similar way, but some of the models will provide different features than the others. In this video, we will be discussing the settings options for the KR800. Settings for the KR800PA and KR800S will be covered in separate videos. To access the settings menu, click on the wrench icon at the upper right of the screen. This will reveal a new window with a series of tabs on the left. The initial tab contains several pages of settings. Different pages can be accessed with these arrows. Your user manual will go into greater detail about the purpose of each setting. However, we will cover some of the more commonly used settings. Of these settings on page one, these will likely be of most interest. If you'd like to start the tests automatically, make sure that auto shoot is on. If you wanna start the tests manually, make sure that it's set to off. Patient number reset, which determines whether the device will have all patient ID numbers be the same, or whether it'll provide a new number for each patient. It's highly recommended to have this off, especially if the device is connected to a CV5000 digital foropter, so that each patient will have their own number on the printout and export to prevent confusion over which results belong to which patient. Number of auto shoot, which determines how many measurements are required of each eye. The usual number is three. Fog timing, which determines how often the patient will have their vision fog to help prevent the autorefraction from being over minus. The options are once before the first measurement of each eye or once before every measurement. Date and time allows you to set the current date and time. Diopter or millimeter, which determines the units of keratometry. Cylinder sign, which determines whether the autorefraction results will be displayed in plus or minus cylinder. Measure mode setting, which determines whether the device will default to capturing both an autorefraction and keratometry or just one or the other for each new patient. The print tab contains options involving what will appear on the printout. It's recommended that the date and the patient ID are on. The communication tab contains options involving exporting data through a round nine pin cable. Depending on the device the KR800 is exporting to, these settings will vary. Please contact Topcon Tech Support if this type of export is needed. The LAN or local area network tab contains options involving exporting data through an ethernet cable. These settings include whether the IP address will be automatically or manually assigned, and options to manually set the IP address, or the subnet mask, and the default gateway. Please have your IT department contact Topcon Tech Support as needed. Thank you for watching. For more information, please go to topconhealthcare.com.